Today we're going to be talking about the newly enhanced eSchedule member report. So I'm logged in here to our demo site and if you are logged in as an administrator you'll see up here under administration uh, the fourth item down here is called member report. So when we go in there <clears throat> it's going to take you to see all of that information and as you'd expect this is a full uh, you know poll of the database of all the different information regarding uh, your members. And you'll notice here that I can change the status by a few different things here. I can change it from uh, active to inactive members. I can perhaps just see com compensated uh, or volunteer members. And even within the career type, I can filter that down even further. So, for example, if I want to just see my full time uh, compensated employees, I can choose those options and then hit submit. Now one thing that you'll notice is our search bar here, and this works very similar to everything else, uh, or most other pages I should say, throughout the eSchedule uh, software. So if I want to just search on a certain person, I can do that. And you can see that's an actual sort of uh, live search there. So as I type, it's going to update the information that's down below. Uh, also, just like many of our other pages throughout the, uh, the system, I can sort on these different columns here. So if I want to sort by first name, I could do that, or member ID, I can do that. Um, and, and go from there. Um, one other thing I'll point out is this upward arrow here. This is export to Excel. So if I hover over that, you'll see that. Uh, it'll prompt me to download that file, and then I can take that information that's down below and do what I might need to do with that in Excel if I needed to do any uh, fancy uh, data work or things like that. Okay, now over here on the far right, this is what looks like almost like a play button. And you'll notice if I hover over that, it says click to expand or collapse format options. So when I open that up, <clears throat> I'm going to see a number of different things down here at the bottom. And each of these rows, of course, corresponds to the different fields that were on the report. Uh, I'm going to first show you the select, deselect all. So if I wanted to show everything uh, that we have active here, I'm going to go ahead and hit that, hit submit and then the report's going to refresh with even more information. So you'll notice when I scroll to the right here, there's a lot of information here. If I go back into the filter section, I can uncheck all that stuff by checking uh, this box twice, and then just turn on the things that I want to see uh, in my report. All right, I'm actually going to turn back on email here as well. Um, and then one other thing is this display certifications. So for those, uh, those of you that are tracking certifications within eSchedule, um, I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this list and you'll see all the different certification types um, that you have are going to appear here. So now perhaps I want to just see CPR expiration date and CPR number. I can do that. Maybe I'll turn on driver's license as well. Go back up, hit submit, and now you'll see this information gets pulled in here to our demo site. So we now have a CPR column, driver's license column, uh, so on and so forth. All right, and then one last thing within here is you can actually change the order of the um, of the of the fields. So see where it says drag and drop columns. So if I want to maybe have email come first, I can click it, drag this up to the top of the list, uh, hit submit, and over here on the left is the email column. So that just changes the order in which the fields show up on the report here. Um, and one last thing I'll mention is you can actually um, it's it's smart enough to remember the last. Uh, format of the report that you had. So if I'm in here playing around or maybe I walk away or I have to go on a call, I can come back. Uh, even tomorrow I can log back in and this page is actually going to remember my last uh, filter here. So you're not going to necessarily lose all of that work that you did here within the member report. So that's everything we have. Uh, if you have questions, comments, ideas, feedback, certainly reach out to us here at the support team and we'd be happy to work with you on that. Thank you very much.